In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate forecasting, forecasted values uh, using Excel spreadsheet. So for any forecasting technique, we need to have a set of past data. So in this case, we have uh, 12 months worth of data, right, which is given to us. So using the 12 months worth of data, we have to generate a set of forecasted values for first technique is moving average, three period moving average. Since it is three period, we need to have three data points, three past data points, and then second step is to take an average of those three data points. So we, I'm going to start in April because only in the month of April we have three data points, three past data points. So average of last three data points from B7 to B9, which corresponds to January to March and hit enter button 11.7 is the forecasted value for the month of April reselect the cell and then drag the cell down to the month of December what Excel does it it automatically populates the value the forecasted values for you right so you can actually even check those forecasted value to see whether the formula is correct. Now, one way to do that is to, once you select a particular cell, for in this case, I'm going to select December and then hit F2 button. So it picks the values from B15 through B17, which corresponds to the values of the months from September through November, which is good, great. And you repeat the same exercise for moving average using four period. Since it is four period, I'm going to start in the month of May. May has last four months worth of data. Take same thing, average, select from B7 to B10, close the bracket and hit the enter. 12.8 is the forecasted value for month of May using moving average, four period moving average technique. And you reselect the cell and drag it down. Drag the cell down. It will automatically populate the forecasted value. You repeat the same exercise for the moving average, five period moving average. Now, the next step is to kind of visualize these forecasted values uh, with the actual demand data and to see what you can actually get out of that graph. So what I'm going to do as a first step, I'm going to select these cells. First, I'm going to select the actual demand data, right? And then I want to select forecasted value from three period moving average, forecasted value from four period moving average, and then five period. So once you've selected these four sets of data, now you have to go to insert tab, and then you have to go to this insert line or area chart, and hit this drop down list, you will see so select the line with the markers option. Excel will automatically plot these four sets of data for you. That is the graph or chart. Let's rename these series of data. I'm going to select the graph and select data. It should give you this pop-up that is named as select data source. And you can select the first series and edit it. Hit the edit button. So this series of value 
is basically belongs to actual data set. So I'm going to call it as or actual. I'm going to call it as actual. And the second series, I'm going to call it as three period. The third series, I'm going to call this as um, if you click this formula, it will highlight the data set that you're working with. So in this case, it's the forecasted values for four period moving average checking. I'm going to call this as four period. And the last is five period. Hit OK. And then this horizontal uh, axis label, we can actually rename the label. The label range is from January through December. You want to pick the January through December and hit OK. So now you have this graph. If, if you observe this graph, you will notice it that uh, when that the forecasted values. So if you observe this graph, you notice the forecasted values from the three period moving average are much closer to the actual demand line. So this is your actual demand line. And this, this red line is the forecasted value from three period moving average. So those red line, that red line is much closer to the actual demand data. So when you go from moving average three period to five period, the, the forecasted values kind of move away from the actual demand. In some sense, in this case, for this particular data set, three period moving average is looks like much better than the four period than any other technique because the forecasted values are much closer to the actual demand value. Let's discuss that in the class. Thank you guys, appreciate it.